Scrum in under 15 minutes. Are you working in an agile or scrum team and need to quickly understand or refresh what is going on? In under 15 minutes, we will distill the scrum guide to show you the following. The history, aim and theory of scrum, all the roles that make up a scrum team, every event in the scrum process, and the artifacts that underpin the process. Scrum aim and history. Developed by Ken Schwaber and Jeff Sutherland in the early 1990s, Scrum is a lightweight framework that helps people and teams generate value for complex problems. It defines the roles, events, artifacts and the rules that bind them together. In 2010, the first version of the Scrum Guide was published with the latest version made available in November 2020. It is freely available in many formats, online, PDF and in over 30 languages. Although originally designed for software development teams, it has been successfully and widely adopted across many different domains and contexts. In a nutshell, Scrum requires a Scrum Master to foster an environment where a product owner orders the work for a problem into a product backlog. The Scrum team then turns a selection of that work into an increment of value during a sprint. The Sprint team and its stakeholders inspect the result and adjust for the next sprint. Rinse and repeat. The framework is purposefully incomplete, only defining the parts required to implement Scrum theory, so we need to adapt and fill in the blanks for the context in which we use it. Scrum wraps around existing practices or renders them unnecessary. Scrum is founded on both empiricism and lean thinking. Empiricism asserts that the knowledge comes from actual real experience and making decisions based on what is observed. Lean thinking reduces waste and focuses on the essentials. It combines five formal events that work because they implement the empirical pillars of transparency, inspection and adaption. Transparency. Work must be visible to those performing the work as well as those receiving the work. Transparency enables inspection. Inspection without transparency is misleading and wasteful. Inspection. What we are creating in the team and the progress towards agreed goals must be inspected frequently to detect any undesirable problems. Inspection enables adaptation. Inspection without adaptation is considered pointless as scrum events are designed to provoke change. Adaptation. If we are deviating from our goals, then we need to change course. The sooner an adaptation is made, the better, but this is difficult without self-management or empowerment. Scrum values. Scrum depends on everyone in the team living the following five values. Commitment. The team commits to achieving its goals and to supporting each other. Focus. Their primary focus is on the work of the sprint to make the best possible progress. Openness. The scrum team and its stakeholders are open about the work and the challenges. Respect. Team members respect each other as capable, independent people. Courage. Team members have the courage to do the right thing and to work on tough problems. The decisions that are made and the way that Scrum is used should reinforce these values, not diminish or undermine them. When these values are embodied by the team, the empirical Scrum pillars of transparency, inspection and adaptation come to life, building trust. Scrum roles. Within Scrum, the fundamental unit is the team or squad. There are only three roles within a Scrum team, a Scrum master, product owner and the team members. That's it. No hierarchies or complex structures. Scrum teams are cross-functional, meaning the members have all the skills necessary to create value each sprint. They're also self-managing, meaning they internally decide who does what, when and how. The Scrum team should be small enough to remain nimble, but large enough to complete significant work within a sprint. Typically, this is 10 or fewer people. Smaller teams communicate better and are more productive. If scrum teams become too large, they should consider reorganising into multiple cohesive teams, each focused on the same product and share the same product goal, 
product backlog and product owner. They are structured and empowered by the organisation to manage their own work. And the entire team is accountable for creating a valuable, useful increment every sprint. Team members. Team members are just the people in the team who do the actual work, whatever that work happens to be across whatever domain the team is working in. Team members are always accountable for creating a plan for the sprint, the sprint backlog, instilling quality by adhering to a definition of done, adapting their plan daily towards the sprint goal, holding each other accountable as professionals. Product owner. The product owner is one person and not a committee. They are accountable for maximising the value of the work of the team. How this work is done varies widely across organisations, but within Scrum, they should be accountable for the effective product backlog management, which includes developing and communicating the product goal, creating and communicating product backlog items, ordering those product backlog items, ensuring that the product backlog is transparent, visible and understood. Note the PO may do the above work or may delegate the responsibility to others. Regardless, the product owner remains accountable. Scrum Master The Scrum Master is accountable for establishing and defending the Scrum process. They do this by helping everyone understand the theory and improve their practice. The Scrum Master serves the team in several ways, including coaching the team members in self-management and cross-functionality, helping the team focus on creating high-value increments, the removal of impediments to the team's progress, and ensuring that all events take place are positive, productive, and kept within the time box. The Scrum Master serves the product owner in several ways, including helping find techniques for effective product backlog management, helping the team understand the need for clear and concise product backlog items, helping establish empirical product planning for a complex environment, and facilitating stakeholder collaboration as requested or needed. Scrum Events There are five events in Scrum. The first is the Sprint and is a container for all the other events. Each event is a formal opportunity to inspect and adapt Scrum artefacts. These events are specifically designed to enable the transparency required. Importantly, events are used in Scrum to create regularity and to minimise the need for meetings not defined in Scrum and should not be seen as additional meetings to overload the team. Optimally, all events are held at the same time and place to reduce complexity. The Sprint Sprints are the heartbeat of Scrum. It is a time box of fixed length which creates consistency, usually two weeks. A new sprint starts immediately after the conclusion of the previous sprint. During the sprint, no changes are made that would endanger the sprint goal. The product backlog is refined as needed and scope may be clarified and renegotiated with the product owner as more is learned. Sprint planning. Sprint planning initiates the sprint by laying out the work to be to performed for the sprint. The resulting plan is created by the collaborative work of the entire team. The following questions should be asked and answered. Why is this sprint valuable? The product owner proposes how the product could increase its value and utility in the current sprint. The sprint goal must be finalised prior to the end of sprint planning. What can be done in this sprint? Through discussion with the product owner, the team select items from the product backlog to include in the current sprint depending on capacity and prior experience. How will the chosen work get done? For each selected product backlog item, the team plan the work necessary to create an increment that meets the definition of done. The sprint goal, the product backlog items selected for the sprint, plus the plan for delivering them are together referred to as the sprint backlog. Sprint planning is usually time boxed to a couple of hours. Daily Scrum The purpose of the daily scrum is to inspect progress towards the sprint goal and adapt the sprint backlog as necessary, adjusting the upcoming planned work. It is a time boxed event ideally to 15 minutes. 
To reduce complexity, it is held at the same time and place. They improve communication, identify impediments and promote quick decision making. This is the team's meeting and should not be seen as a status report to management. Showcase The purpose of the showcase is to inspect the outcome of the sprint and determine future adaptations. The team presents the results of their work to key stakeholders and progress towards the product goal as discussed. Based on this information, attendees collaborate on what to do next. The product backlog may be adjusted to meet new opportunities. The sprint review is a working session and the scrum team should avoid limiting it to just a presentation. Typically, this is an hour-long event for a two-week sprint. Sprint Retro the purpose of the retro is to pause and review ways to increase quality and effectiveness of how the team is working together. The team together inspects how the last sprint went with regards to individuals, interactions, processes and tools and anything else that is relevant. This event can take many forms, with the important outcome being tangible actions that can improve subsequent sprints to come. Typically, this is an hour long for a two-week sprint. Scrum Artifacts There are three Scrum Artifacts that represent work or value which are designed to maximise transparency of key information. Each artifact contains a commitment to which progress can be measured. Product Backlog The product backlog is an emergent, ordered list of what is needed to improve the product. It is a single source of work undertaken by the team. Product backlog items that can be done by the team within one sprint are deemed ready for selection in a sprint planning event. They usually acquire this degree of transparency after refining activities. Product backlog refinement is the act of breaking down and further defining product backlog items into smaller, more precise items. This is an ongoing activity to add details such as description, order and size. The people who will be doing the work are responsible for the sizing. Commitment. Product goal. The product goal describes a future state of the product which can serve as a target for the scrum team to plan against. The rest of the product backlog emerges to define what will fulfil the product goal. A product could be a service, a physical product or something more abstract but it is a long term objective of the team. Sprint backlog. The sprint backlog is composed of the sprint goal, why, the set of product backlog items selected for the sprint, what, as well as an actionable plan for delivering the increment, how. The sprint backlog is a plan by and for the team. Commitment, sprint goal. The sprint goal is a single objective for the sprint, but provides flexibility in terms of the exact work needed to achieve it. The sprint goal also creates coherence and focus, encouraging the scrum team to work together rather than in separate initiatives. Increment. An increment is a concrete stepping stone towards the product goal. In order to provide value, the increment must be usable. Multiple increments may be created within a sprint. Commitment. Definition of done. Work cannot be considered part of an increment unless it meets the definition of done. The definition of done is a formal description of the state of the increment when it meets the quality measures required for the product. The definition of done creates transparency by providing everyone a shared understanding of what work was completed as part of the increment. And that's it. That's Scrum in a nutshell. It's simple to understand but takes time, effort, experience and sometimes coaching and training to really master. Each element discussed has many layers that you can spend a great deal of time working through but to get started you can do that very quickly.